welcome back. This is Nilnar for another uh, adventure in Dinkum. So it's been a little bit, but when we last left off, we were working on John's shop. We had gotten all the ingredients together, and unfortunately, I slipped without putting them in the last ingredient. So towards the end, I went ahead and put that last ingredient in. Ingredient in, and you see now that shop is put together started being put together so we we have another day of waiting for that to be put together it is a glorious uh, morning here on the island so today we're going to do a few tasks with the uh, granny and tasks with john just to pass the time away do some collecting try to get enough inventory together see i have some inventory here i want to go sell to john and the goal is to get as many dinks as we can in order to pay off John's shop. Again, that was about 70000 for that shop, and we need to pay it off in order to be able to build new buildings into it. So there'll be uh, some grinding area that I'll, I'll not record all the grinding I do, but we will record the steps that we go through with doing the different tasks if we can, if they are tasks we're going to do. Uh, there's some tasks that you may not want to do. We also have uh, cutting down four trees, catching three fish, and dirt three times. So we'll be doing that too as well. Let's get some more milestones together. Um, that'll be important. And we'll see where we get to today with the visitors and everything. We'll probably have a couple days we go through here with this uh, adventure. So before we begin, just to remind you, uh, please like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you can get updated when I do do a new uh, post on a new video. So without further ado, let's uh, jump right in here. Let's go talk to Granny. Fletch, what's up? Hello, Nilar. So let's see, what, uh, let's just chat. Hey, what, uh, what chat about? Well, do you need anything? Oh, you mean to catch a goat fish? Oh, okay, well, we'll see about catching some. So they're in the southern oceans this time of year. Okay, no problem. And just to remind, so you can see, this is what, well, we're, we must have paid off a little bit since last time, but we owe still 59743 on the debt, so we still owe quite a bit. So we will want to work towards getting that paid off. It'll take a few days to pay that off. Let's go ahead and go and talk to John. Hey, John. Got it, got it. What do you have uh, for uh, needs? What can I do for you? Five cooked ca cactus figs. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll buy you. I'll let you. Yeah, go for it. There's three grand for just selling uh, some cactus figs that I already had on hand. Again, the cactus figs are these cooked cactus figs. You pick these up. Uh, when you go around and then you throw them on the fire and cook them and when you do so they do recharge your stamina by five So let's go ahead and talk to John again. Let's sell some goods. Let's empty up my inventory. So while I'm out I can Do good and I am selling the waddle right now. I'll get plenty of these later They are used in recipes later on down the road, but for now it's just money I'm also going to sell the poo. I'm not planting any anything. So I don't need fertilizer yet so we'll go ahead and sell that off. So let me sell that. Oh, 7,000 sounds good to me. Thank you, John. So we're up to about 14,000. That's getting us a little closer. So let's go ahead and we'll pin up the task for uh, her. She wants a goat fish. And in the chat she said they were in the South Sea. So if I go to the map and kind of scroll out here. This is the ocean down here, so this will be where the South Seas would be at. So I'm assuming down here in the water area here, somewhere will be where we'd find that fish. Since I have to catch three fish anyway, and that does take the longest, let's go ahead and start walking over that way. As I'm going over there, if I find flies or butterflies, things of that nature, I'm going to go ahead and pick up some of that. Because this always sells good. Butterflies are... A good way to make money insects uh, shells are good so I can probably pick up these as I'm going through maybe oh, come on sometimes you just gotta hit it just right as you're walking across and I'm just not hitting it right this second there we go 
And let's see, let's see if I can get this one on the fly. I did. There we go. I'm getting the rhythm back down. Yeah, I missed that shell back there, but that's okay. I'm sure on the way back up we can pick it up. I just want to try to get down there uh, sooner. Go ahead and grab this butterfly as we walk by. Some birds I see. A couple more butterflies over that way, but I want to go ahead and walk down this way to get to that south shore. Grab that one while I'm walking by. couple things to keep track of after we get John in uh, granny will give us a quest to get some uh, a range of people in so part of that will be uh, I think it's five people we have to get in total so John will count for one and we'll have to get four others uh, and there will be visitors that come to the island and basically we'll continue doing the same thing buy stuff from them if they sell anything do some tasks for them so if I look right now, I should be getting close to the south side here. So I'm going to start looking for fish as I go. There's some rocks. I'm not seeing any fish yet. Yeah, let's see. Later on I'll get some boats and I'll be able to go out to those islands without swimming. Oh, that looks like a fish there. Let's see. Now, I don't like doing these wide open ocean casts. I will tell you they're a little more rough. There we go. That's the biggest problem is they swim so far out, they break your line. So you got to really be on top keeping them whirled in. As your fishing skill goes up, it becomes a little easier, but it's still... You got to keep an eye on it. Oh, I overheld a little bit, but not enough to really count for anything. So what do we get? What do we get? Is this a goat fish? Nope, that's a blue spotted. So that wasn't the goat fish we wanted. Let's see, I thought there was another one right there. It is. I think that's probably another goat fish. But let's see. We'll get it out there a little bit farther. Thought there was a fish there. Did he despawn? He must despawn. They do that from time to time. Let's walk around this way, see if we see anything. Not seeing a whole lot on the south side here. So I'm going to go ahead, go back this way, and we'll go across to the somewhere over here and see if we get a better chance over that way. Oh, there's a the shark. I definitely don't want to get involved with the shark. He, he'll take a big bite out of you. So sharks, some of the uh, birds, the big black ones specifically. I forget what they're called now off the top of my head. And uh, the wombats, or I call them wombats. I'm not sure what their exact name is, but uh, they're devil, Tasmanian type devils. They are uh, very aggressive. Uh, everything else, like kangaroos, they, they really run from you. Um, dogs, they don't run. They just kind of come around you. Let's see, what is that fish? We're not quite in the South Sea. But let's go ahead and try to catch it and see. Should be an easy. Looks like another one of the same type. So I probably have to go down farther south. But let's see. Hopefully the volume of the game is loud enough here. I just now notice it doesn't seem too loud. Oh, I broke my line. Uh, but that sounded a little better. Uh, I'll check the audio. Hopefully it's making enough noise there. I hear why it's not being too loud. It's uh, not going through my headset. I'll have to fix that later. What do we get? 
jungle perch. That's why I figured this is more of a river. Jungle perches usually come in the river in the jungle area, so we'll go over this way farther. Just make sure okay, I need to start heading south now. See what I have here. Any fish right through here? Not directly, but I want to go over here and get more into the south. Oh, there was one there. So anyway, there's one over there. But I think I want to be on this other side here where I'm more in. Oh, there's a gator, so we want to watch out for gators. They also attack. I'm gonna try to get this fish over here. See what this is. Feisty one. There we go. River bass. So that's still considered a river there. Okay, let's go across here. Gator, stay over there. I don't want to have anything to do with you. Oh, there's a shark. So this is more oceany type. So let's see what I have here. Any fish, any fish. There's a fish out there. Hey, the rock kept him from going too far from me. Cool. What do we have here? Blue spotted flathead, huh? Still not the fish I want. Let's keep uh, trying here. Let's see if I can find any more. Is there another one out here? Did I scare him off? Sometimes you will scare fish off as you're fishing. Not always, but sometimes. Let's see what's down this way a little bit. Oh, watch out for that gator. He might come after me, but I'm going to try to get around on this side. You can outrun the gators usually with no problems. Oh, there's a new fish. The gator stop. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, there's quite a few right here. Let's see what we have here. Oh, he's a fighter. Come on. Don't get too far out there. Don't want to break the line. Jungle perch again. Well, I got the the quota fish I needed for the one. So if I I got the uh, catch three fish for 105, I did get a caught five different or six different fish. I needed five, and then uh, fish catcher I've gotten ten fish, so that's good. I've gotten a few things there. Oh, emu. Those are those aren't bad. They don't attack. Let's see, what do we have here? Any more fish? Oh, there's a fish. Can't tell if that's one I've caught already or not. Let's see. Not the one I wanted, but we'll go ahead and catch them. Oh, nope, not like that. I won't. I want this one anyway, so let me... Please want to be a fighter. One of those... I'm going to try to run my line out here. Come on, come on. Don't get too far out. Come on. That's a pretty good distance away there. Wasn't paying attention. I about broke my line. Come on. Come on. Back in. Come on. Don't break the line. Don't break the line. And there we go, bluefish. It's 
Still no goat fish. <coughs> Let's try over this way more. I know I'm on the... If I look at my map, I'm... I'm on south. That's about as south as I can go. So I'm hoping to find a goat fish here soon. Let's try this one. Oh, what's that? Don't think that's a goat fish, but we'll go ahead and try to catch it and verify. Looks like one of the ones I've already tried to catch here, or have caught. Sometimes these specialty fishes in the ocean that they ask for are harder to get a hold of. They seem like they ask for the ones that are not the average fish. And I think I've fished enough, after a while I might be able to tell by their shallow uh, blue spot flathead. So that's what that one is. But yeah, hopefully sooner or later I'll be able to recognize them by sight. When we get the boat, I don't know if you can fish from the boat or not. I've never actually t had a boat to find out. I've not played it that much. I hope I scared them off. Walking on the water edge, sometimes not the best idea. About getting to the end of the day, and it doesn't hurt to fail a daily event like this. I won't say daily, but uh, a task from one of them. But let's see what this fish is, see if... I think that's going to be another spotted one by looks, but we'll try to catch it and see. man okay let's start heading back I don't want to be out here after dark I got some stuff to turn in I want to get some of the tree stuff and shoveling stuff done so we'll get closer back to base and we'll do all that if I pick up some things like these apples Up some apples are always good. Well, a little bit higher than I can jump there, but I tried. And just so I make sure I'm heading in the rough direction, I'll mark my house on the, the map so I got a lot of water to cross and it's easy to get sidetracked. But go ahead and swim across here. You don't swim real fast, that's for sure. It'd be nice when I can get the boat and nice when I get the teleporters and everything too. If you don't remember from previous video, the teleporters are those towers that you have to repair. And I need a lot more equipment from digging. Well, I'll probably spend a day of digging, a day or two of digging, and try to get as much of that together as I can. But I'm a ways from that. I'll probably be doing a lot of getting things around the house set up. I don't do tasks for the villagers every day. I'm just trying to build up. A little bit on John and on uh, Grandma Fletch there just so it's better down the road I don't know if it helps the prices or not but it does help the friendship um, so and if you haven't seen the friendship if you go into the journal so you can look at uh, your pedia or yeah pedia at people and then you can see like I'm three-quarters of above heart with John and I haven't got anything with Fletch yet because she always gives me these tasks that seem to never be completable. She always wants stuff that's hard to get a hold of or can't get a hold of yet. Get some more items. I want to try to get back and sell before John closes here. I'm going to be cutting it close here. I'll come back out and get some berries and stuff. Let me get over here to John's place. I think he closes at 5, so I want to get over here as quick as possible. Oh, he already closed. Dang it. Didn't quite make it. Well, we'll have plenty in the morning. Hi, John. How you doing? Uh, so let me go ahead and just let me fill up my inventory. Um, see what I can get there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit here offline. 
I'll be back in uh, a few minutes. Okay, so I went around, picked up a, a few items. As you can see in my inventory, I got a few more bugs. I do have some blank spots, but that's because I went ahead and cooked up a few more cactuses. And while I was out, I actually did find uh, some meat, so I cooked up the meat. I grabbed some bush lines, but I haven't cooked them up yet. I figured I'd hold on to those for a little bit longer. I don't quite need them cooked yet. And I put my apples and bananas I found into here. So that's kind of put into storage for now. So not a whole lot to do, but I am finding this gator is getting awful close. So uh, we may, in the next day or two, we might put a fencing along here to keep the gator on that side. They're a little bit closer than I really like them to be. So, But we're going to go ahead and sleep here. Sleep until morning. And hopefully tomorrow we will see John's shop open. So bugs I've caught. Fish i caught. Foraging that done. Foraging goes up quickly. And then this is what I sold early this morning. So let's go ahead and get up. Nice little night. Yeah, they're tough in the water. I haven't figured out how to land them yet, so we'll have to see that. So I'm going to go ahead and get up here. Oh, go, whoa, there. You see it? That, I'm going to have to get some hunting and take out a few gators. But there is John's shop. Let's go check out John's shop. Whoop. Yeah. Not open yet, is it? Nope, it's still closed. We've got to wait until it opens. I believe it's either 8 or 9. So we'll go ahead and talk to Granny. I'm going to go ahead and apply for some licenses. Um, I already got these here. We have the first level metal detecting. I'm not going to buy the second one yet. Not, plus, I don't have the money for it. We do have hunting licenses, and I'm really thinking about getting the hunting licenses and take out the, the gators. Uh, building license for bridges. I, I want to get into bridges here after a while, but not yet. Uh, landscaping license. That basically allows me to build new different paths than just like a dirt path. Do have the vehicle. I could start building a boat to kind of travel around. That might be useful. Um, but I really think I'm going to start out with the hunting license. And when I get the hunting license, I now get a wooden bat recipe, a basic spear, and a basic hammer. And as you hunt, you'll be able to grow that more. But these are nice now because now I get the tool belt license. That allows me to add more slots to my tool belt. Um, I, one of these will actually, I think it might be trapper license. That's kind of nice. We might think about that too here soon. Um, but the, there's a inventory slot as well. So tool belt is, let's see if I can get both. Yeah, tool belt is here. So I can get another slot here. And then this is your inventory. There's be an upgrade to allow me to do more of my inventory. Let me see though if I get enough here because it'd be kind of nice to do that boat. So let's see what I got. Town planner, got my first building in town. That's John shop. And is that it? Yes. Do need to smelt some more, cook one fruit, and catch more fish. Same as yesterday. I didn't get all of them completed yesterday. And like I said, it's not a necessity to do them all. John Shop. Look at this new big shop. So you have all kinds of things. You have a scale here to sell things. And we'll actually do that here in a second. We can talk to John. Uh, I want to sell some goods. Let's go ahead and empty my inventory because that's going to be pretty important. I'm selling everything that's up here. And that should be everything. So sell all that. 21,000. That sounds great, John. And you see it's real easy to get money. So it's not going to take us long. Another good trip like that and I'm going to get uh, get uh, the uh, loan paid off pretty quickly but while we're in here I want to go ahead and talk to him and let's see what what tasks do we have today for him he wants a fly we might be able to find a fly and they're in the tropic region I'll show you where you find the tropics no problem so we have one to do there and if you notice it still says I have Fletch's quest there but if I go to tasks it's not there at all so I'm gonna get rid of that um, 
I could buy the metal detector, but I'm going to hold off a little bit longer. I don't quite need it yet. Um, I actually, I honestly have a goal here. So I'm going to go talk to Flex. And I want to apply for a license. And I want to go ahead. We're going to build the boat. I want to build a boat. I think you'll want to like to see a boat. I may not be able to build it yet, but I want to be able to. So a rowboat is our first one. And let me go back in there. I went through that quickly. Whoop. You can buy your house, but you have to, it's 95000 I don't want to do that for a while. Uh, never mind. You're clicking too fast in there. Sorry about that. Let's try this again. So I want to talk about a license. So after I bought that vehicle license, I now can go, my next one is 2400 and you get land-based vehicles. So you can actually drive across. Um, so that'll be interesting down the road. But I want to see what's it going to take to build this boat. So the boat, gumwood, we can get that. Planks, we can get that. Tin bars, I may already have that. We'll have to check. If not, it won't be hard to get tin bars. And nails, I think I still have some nails. If not, that's not hard to build. So let's go see what I have here and see what I need to get. Nothing in this chest. I think it's this one. So this chest, I have one bar, so I need to get some more bar. I have plenty of this. It looks like I may have enough gum wood and planks. We'll check that here in a second. One thing I wanted to show you, so I've been saving this guy. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. There's two things you can do with nests. You can drop them on the ground. They'll bust open and you can catch bees. And if you get a queen bee, you can create a honey hive. Or you can just sell these. I'm going to go ahead and sell this one because I'm really more about the money at the moment. I'm not ready to create hives. So if I put this there, he'll tell me, oh, nice beehive. That's, that's how heavy it is. So it's a fairly heavy one. 9,000. This is why I wanted to sell it. That's, that's a pretty good chunk of change for just something you found on the ground. And that also gives us uh, 200 for uh, selling one. You also can get it by smashing it. Just doing something with the beehive gives you some money. So that's pretty good. So with that, I need to get a lot more iron. Um, smelting iron, I only have one tin ore left to make a tin bar. So I need more of those. So let's, let's see. Before I go all the way out, let me just double check the requirements of the boat. I need uh, 10 planks of each of those style. I got plenty of that. And I need just one more tin bar. So let's go, let's go find some tin. There should be some right over this way. Uh, let's see. What do I do? There's some rocks there. Some rocks there. there. I know there's a lot more rocks over here. And mining. If I can get my mining up and get to copper, I can get copper pickaxes. And that'll be better. Again, this is crystal. It's not iron. I'll go ahead and grab that. Oh, I wanted to show you how to tell where jungle and stuff is. So if you're on the map and highlighting, you see this says it's desert. I go up here, this is bushlands. This is the tropics. So this will be where the flies are at in the tropics. There's pine forest. So each little section, and there's some repeats of it. So you'll find beach in multiple spots. You'll find, uh, of course, tropics in multiple spots. But a lot of times they are clustered together. Bushlands are one of the few that you'll find everywhere. So you'll have to just kind of keep that in mind when you're asked to go somewhere. And I'm going to head towards the tropics. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put a... I'm going to put the pin there. I'm going the right way. Not a problem. So we're going to go ahead and walk up this way. Might see a fly while I'm looking for iron. I want some iron. Here's some iron. Yes, that looks like iron right there. So we'll beat this down to uh, the component pieces. And there we go, some more tin ore. And of course, you know we need five tin ore to make one iron block. So go ahead and get my ore or nothing. And if I look at my inventory I do have five now so that would be enough and whoops don't want to forget that guy um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back I want to build that boat I want you guys to be able to see the boat 
uh, this episode and maybe get out and swim around with it a little bit. I know I didn't grab that fly, but uh, like I said, it's not a must imperative to do that quest. They're nice. They give you miles or with the, the uh, these give you mileage. But when you do quests for Task for John or for Fletch or anybody else, they may or give you money. They may give you an item, clothing, um, something of that nature. Um, we will have to get a lot more iron, but I want to go ahead and start this smelting. We're going to have to get a lot more iron. I got to get rid of that guy. I do have to get rid of that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come over this way. I'm trying to lead him over this way and then I'll outrun him. Whoop. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. You're on fire. Ha, ha, ha. That might actually kill him. Come on. Keep coming this way. Oh, it wasn't enough to kill him, but it, it hurt him pretty good. So I'm going to go back this way. I try to outrun him. And now we'll come back in here and we'll insert that tin ore. I'm going to grab these planks out now. Or logs. Because I want to be able to uh, get these uh, put down. And you cannot put butterflies in the chest so they won't let you select them until you're out. So let's go ahead and we'll get ten of these. One. There's three now. Five. Six will turn into a bag. Eight. Nine. And this should be ten. So if I come back over here. Whoop, hang on. Yep, it says ten planks. There we go. So let's do 10 of these. There's my iron ore, so we'll be able to do a bolt here very soon. Is that 10? Nope, that's 9. Lost the track of my count. So I got 10 of those, that bar. I'm going to go ahead and put that, this bar with that one. Put my nails in here. Go ahead and put my logs up for now. Shift click will automatically put it in there. I sometimes forget about that. So we'll go in here and let's create that boat. So create the boat. It says I have everything. Craft it up. I now have a rowboat. Yes. So, with the rowboat, once you place it down, you cannot pick it back up as far as I've been able to tell. So, you don't want to place it in something like this that's landlocked because you're never going to be able to get it out. But I can place it in right outside the front here because there's plenty of places to go with it. So, let's go ahead and place this bad boy right there. There's my rowboat. So, I can right click and drive. Now, I can paddle away isn't that cool I don't know if there's electric boats down the road there might be but I now have access to get around I don't have to run straight across I can swim to different instead of swimming to islands I can boat across to islands so I'm gonna go ahead and dock it here I wanted to at least showcase that off Ooh, whoa I've never done that before can I get it back uh, See if I can push it back in the water. Yeah, you can. Okay. So I guess you wouldn't be landlocked. You can actually push it around. I'm going to stop it right there so it doesn't act. I don't know if it floats away or not or if it'll stay right where you park it. Uh, we might play with that a little bit later. So now that being said, I have uh, got that done. I need to cook a fruit and catch four fish. Uh, we'll probably do the cook of fruit here this evening, but let's go ahead and go back out here. Try to catch that fly. Try to get some more iron, because I do need to make metal weapons. So I need some iron for that. So let's get some more iron. Complete John out a little bit more on that, and then we'll see where we're at. Oh, there's, those are the emus. 
I do like to come up here and check. These nests every so often will have an egg and I want to try to get an egg and sell it. And I think that will be fun to do. They're supposed to be worth some money. I've never actually sold one, but I've uh, talked with others that have played and it does, uh, it is worth some money. There's a little, few little tricks to it that we'll talk about when we get to that stage. But can I look around here? Am I quite in the jungle yet? I, I'm actually off to one side. The tropics are right next to me here. So let me go up the tropics here. Well, not that way. See if we can find a fry up here in the tropics. And while I'm looking for flies, I also want to uh, look for iron. So I didn't see any flies flying around there, so I'm just going to kind of walk around this way a little bit. See if I can see any over this way. Oh, there's some iron, so let's go ahead and grab that iron while we see it. There's a turkey up, up above. A cup of iron and some stone. I started sure missing iron there. I don't see anything. So we'll go up this way. Now I'm trying to think, is it actually the tropics for the fly or is it the jungle? I'm wondering if it's the jungle. So I'm not seeing any flies around here. Continue looking for a little bit. It's an interesting looking tree. What are you? There is some type of butterfly. Scarlet Jezebel butterfly. I don't remember if I've caught that one yet or not. You can always look to see while you're out uh, hunting. Have I ca caught that bug if you kind of want to look to see and compare so you can see. Um, it actually will tell you how many times, so I can actually look to see how many of these Jezebels. I've got eight of them, so I've caught that one before. I thought it looked familiar, but it's hard to tell sometimes. So we'll continue looking for uh, more iron here. I want to get my iron, my mining skill up. So I can actually get uh, the quarries and the mine, the deep mine. Uh, well, we're not even we're close to doing the deep mine, but the quarry will be nice because that will actually bring up goods to you directly, and you don't have to go out and hunt for tin, copper. Um, you you still want to probably go out and hunt every so often, but it, it's a better resource to get it to you without having to go hunting for it. Let's see, not seeing a whole lot of iron. It's like one or two here and there, not big deposits. Always fun. And I'm probably looking in the wrong area. I had uh, one of my initial get used to the game playthroughs I was doing. That island had a spot that looked like this, and it was just covered in iron in the spot. But this one, not so much. I would really like to be able to knock these out, but as you can see, it's going to tell you, you're not quite ready. And that will come as I get my mining skill up, I'll be able to make uh, better weapons and everything. Oh, let's see, no iron, no iron. I'm not really picking up any more logs at the moment. I'll spend a day doing a big collection offline. There's an iron nugget. There's two here, cool. get so busy trying to look for flies in the distance that sometimes I overlook these so I've, you've probably been yelling at me about uh, all the iron nuggets I missed. Here's some copper. I'm gonna go ahead and get some just so we register we picked up copper. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting uh, a little wore out here so I'm gonna go ahead and eat three cactus fruits or cactus figs I should say. And so now my health bar is up and I, our health, energy bar is up halfway, but I'll continue growing because I have my fillness meter full. So we'll go ahead and 
get some more of this iron here. You'll end up going through a lot of iron, a lot of copper. Um, it's one thing I will tell you is when you get to uh, copper tools, you have to first make the iron tool. Oh, and that's it. I just broke my first tool. There are ways if you don't break it, you can repair the tool. So you stop before it breaks, you can repair it. Um, it's just I'm not anywhere near repair stages. That's a special bench you have to build that you buy from somebody. And then you have to have repair kits that you buy from them. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and head back to town. Keep looking for flies along the way. Let's see. There's a forest right here. I'm going to look while we're here. I'm going to see if I can find that fly in the forest. That's dust motes. Flies are hard to find. I, I'll be honest with you. I do find them. Just not on a regular basis. I'm going to go ahead and pick up some bottle blushes to sell in the morning. Grab that while I'm walking through here. And continue looking to see if I can find any flies. Now, I think once sun goes down I won't find any flies. I think that's when they turn into uh, fireflies. Oh, is that a fly? There we go. I caught me a fly. Cool. Now I can go back to Don. Turn his in. Oh, let's go ahead and grab some more apples while you're here. And I should not just run straight back. I should pick some things up as I go. I see something. That way I can sell. and I won't be able to sell tonight, but I'll be able to sell first thing in the morning. You can still turn your quest into Don. He just he shuts down the store at between four and five. Oh, I don't remember pressing water earlier, but I must have, or uh, it may be just the way the islands are connected together. And let's see, what do we have here? No bugs I've been seeing. I might have missed one, but I haven't seen anything. Let's get some more water fruit to sell. Long walk back. I didn't realize I walked that far out. But I see the lights of the town. Don shop at least. Yeah, these gators are getting out of hand. We're going to have to start taking those out. They're not real hard, they just, they require a little bit. So let's get some iron smelted. We'll find John here. Granny, be careful of the gators out there. They're out and about. So let's see, come up here. Got 19, I got quite a bit. Plus, I think I got a couple in the chest there, so I'll be able to go farther. So we'll get that smelting. Seen John? Seen John anywhere? See, say, oh, there's Don. Hey, Don. Oh, you're working late. Let me talk to you here. Uh, here, here you go. I sure got your fly. Right here it is. I don't know why you want to fly, but hey, here you go. Most people try to get rid of flies. So what do you give me? Oh, I got a white t shirt. I'm going to go ahead and put that away here. Change out of that. Later on, I'll probably build a second forge that way I can do a multiple uh, forging at the same time. I don't have enough copper yet, so I'll put the copper away. I'll put the stone away. I'll put the apples away. Anything else that I don't need in here? Nope, everything else is fine. There's my first tin. I'm going to go ahead and create another block. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to go over here in the tools. Let's see what I need for a spear. Spear is damage of four. Wooden bat's only damage of three. The basic hammer is eight, but man, it's slow to hit. I'd rather have this. It, it takes more, but I'd rather have it. And I just need gum wood plank. We can do that. That's easy enough. So let me come over here and get a gumwood plank out. 
I, I picked up one by right clicking on it so that allowed me to pick up one crafting table let's craft this spear I'm not going to go out hunting today but we will be ready to hunt tomorrow So that being said, let's uh, go ahead and wait for this piece of tin to be done. And we'll go ahead and put another one on the Barbie. There we go. And with that, I think uh, that is going to call it. So we've done quite a bit here. We got John's shop up and running. Uh, we got the boat yeah John's worried about being safe we're gonna take care of those crocs on the next video so that's what we'll be expecting is do some hunting next video show you how that's done and then go from there as always I thank you and I hope you have a great day and don't forget to like and subscribe